This is Deborah Beale. No, that's Deborah Beale. I'm Tad Williams. And that's Tad Williams. And we wrote a book. And here is the book. It's called The Dragons of Ordinary Farm. Um, Ordinary Farm has a animal program unlike any animal program, which is to say it has mythic beasts. And uh, one of the great mysteries in the novel is where these mythic beasts come from. However, we're not talking about that so much as the wonderful animals that are to be found there. Dragons, unicorns, griffins, basilisks, manticores. Many uh, exotic animals like griffins were supposed to be combinations of other animals. So in the old days, in the fairy tales, you'd hear about a griffin. And what it really was, was it was sort of like a, a lion with an eagle's head. So you're just putting interesting animals together, like, see, frog, tree, stick them together, what do you get? Tree frog. Oh! oh. <laughs> no, but that's, that's kind of basically how it works. So, we're, we're, our book is about these two children named Tyler and Lucinda Jenkins who come to the farm and they... Um, At the invitation of their long-lost uncle. Their great uncle. They have no idea what that branch of the family, which is rich, brilliant, and mad, has out there in the deep, deep wilds of the California Valley and the Sierras. Rhino. Half a donkey. Whoop! I fell off. Anyway, it's a donkey if I know. <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing. I shouldn't be laughing at this. The doctor said not to encourage me. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think what to say about the animals. I don't know. Did I do the I tree know, you do the already? animals. No, I want to talk about the house. You do the animals. Okay. You, you, you do okay, it's full more of animals. Ordinary Farm is um, a place where, Ordinary farm. for some reason, that the main characters, Tyler and Lucinda, don't know at first Instead of it being full of cows and pigs and um, uh, spotted poisonous South American frogs, well, no, most farms don't have those, but the other things, they've got things like unicorns. And the big thing the kids have to answer, not only do they have to learn not to be eaten by dragons and things like that, but they also have to try and figure out, first of all, why um, are these animals here? Where do they come from? You can't just go to the internet. No kids, you cannot go to the internet and order uh, giant dragons and have them come to your house in a brown paper package. So where do these animals come from? Tyler and Lucinda have to find that out. Why is everybody so mysterious about certain parts of the property? Why does the house go on forever and ever and ever? What are some other mysteries that they need to? The house, um... Uh, came from both of us being fascinated by old Victorian houses. Plus, um, we decided to give it a shot of Gormenghast, uh, at least as far as the wonderful castle is concerned. Nobody knows what Gormenghast is anymore. Gormenghast is um, a castle that is as endless and as rambling and as mad as the family that lives in it. And that's very much true of the Tinker family, who are the people who create Ordinary Farm. Oops, well, author swoop in the book. Most, most of the creatures um, are from fairy tales and Greek mythology. Um, one of the creatures that is neither in the book nor in Greek mythology is this three-headed horse mash. Sorry, that is not to be found in ordinary form anywhere, but I just made it and I wanted you to see it. I think what Tad is trying to say is that um, buy these my book. mythic beasts... I've cut up all my plastic animals. Please buy my book. I so need we money. can buy some more buy some more plastic animals for Tad. <laughs> She's a very silly person. Dragons of Ordinary Farm, available now in bookstores, uh, under the seats of light rail vehicles, you name it. You can find it almost anywhere. Um, by it, us, by Tad us. Williams yes. and Deborah Beale. She wrote some, I wrote some. She wrote the, 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 the sensible parts. I wrote the interesting bits. No, it's the sensible parts. But there's other parts too, so that's okay. And, and uh, Actually, he's more animals and I'm more house, uh -huh. I think, at the moment. Uh -huh. But we can't really tell. Where, uh, it's, it's, it, it, 
is a wonderful, beautiful mishmash of an adventure. Look, it's the movie Alien, performed by frogs. <laughs> bye. Oh, bye-bye. Don't put those fingers behind my head. Oh. <laughs>